Cycling about. Cycling about. Dobber Dan. Dobber Dan. This is Ali Cat from cyclingabout.com. Today in beautiful Pula, Croatia, reviewing the Espresso coffee maker. The Espresso is four main parts. So at the top of the Espresso, we have a valve, which is actually from a bicycle. We've got the head here, we've got the body, which is the white part, and at the bottom, if we unscrew it, we've got the coffee basket. The espresso uses air pressure rather than steam or pump water to extract the coffee. By using hot water rather than steam, many of the bitter extracts are discarded. It just leaves a really smooth, sweet shot. For traveling, the espresso is perfect. This whole unit here weighs about 200 grams. This part here is actually a tamper. It only weighs seven grams. You can get the coffee packed down really well. It isn't the cheapest unit. It's about $140 for just the espresso and plus extras, it can be up to $190. One of the reasons we really like the espresso is that it's made in Australia and the materials that are used are absolutely amazing. Just threading it feels fantastic. Although the espresso needs a bike pump to pump it up, we feel that you don't need to be a bike rider to use it. The espresso may seem relatively expensive, but we use this thing once or twice a day. If you factor in the quality of the parts, the taste of the coffee, it's easy to justify. The espresso is one of our favorite bits of kit. It's small, light and elegant and honestly produces one of the best coffee shots we've had. The Australian made espresso is highly recommended, so give one a go. How to use the espresso. Step one is heating the water to 70 or 80 degrees. We completely boil the water and allow it to cool for a few moments to avoid disastrously burning the coffee. Step two is filling the espresso's red basket with coffee. The grind should be compressed firmly with a tamper. Alley Cat love freshly ground beans, but sometimes the only option is the freshest pre-ground coffee we could find. In step three, we fill the white body of the espresso with hot water, pouring all the way up to the start of the thread. To make an Alley Cat special double shot as we are in this video, fill the basket to three quarters full and the body of the espresso sure right up to the rubber point. seal on the thread. For some other style options, go to cyclingabout.com and read all about it. In step four, after screwing on the black metal top and placing the whole espresso on a cup, we attach the pump to the valve and pressurize the chamber to 120 psi. Step five is a game of patience, waiting for the coffee to extract and the milk to heat up. The coffee takes between 30 seconds and two minutes to empty out completely. On to step six, where the crema has bubbled out into one of our marvellous little keep cups. We share the coffee as equally as humanly possible and add the hot milk, stirring to completion. Our favourite step is number seven, which involves lifting the cup to your wetted lips and savouring the flavour and aroma of the sweet smooth coffee the espresso delivers. How does it taste, Kat? After we have enjoyed the invigorating experience of coffee time, it is necessary to do step eight, cleaning the espresso. As the metal parts get pretty hot, we always wait for these to cool before using a spoon to gently scrape out the used coffee. Wash it as you would any normal dish and ta-da, it is ready to go again. How not to use your espresso. Don't blow it up with your mouth. Don't use it as a cup. Don't use it as a pillow. <sighs> and definitely don't sit on it. I'm going to sit, sit, sit on you. Sit, sit, sit on you. <laughs> sit.